Hey everybody, this is Art Wassum, Arthur Wassum. I'm uh, back in LA in Burbank right now. I'm at a little park in Burbank. And I wanted to shoot you a little story about the Austin Film Festival. That's probably not going to show the right way because I realize I'm on reverse looking at the camera right now. Needless to say, um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience at the Austin Film Festival in 2022. It was my first time there and it was a great, great time. First off though, I wanted to tell you that I did the best thing I ever possibly could have done. And I bought the wrong tickets. I bought the wrong package. I bought the uh, weekend event. I had bought the, the, when I bought it, I had bought the weekend event for the American Film Market, the AFM which is Thursday through Saturday. So I bought the weekend pass at the AF, AFF, the American Austin Film Festival. And when I got there, I got there on Wednesday. It was the day, uh, weekend before Halloween. And I got there, I registered, and they're like, yeah, your first uh, thing panel will be on Saturday. I'm like, yeah, but I wanted to go to a panel on Thursday and Friday. I'm like, well, you bought the weekend one. Little backstory, I had been hacked my credit card had gotten hacked on the um, Monday before I went out there. I found out about that on Tuesday. So, <laughs> complicated. I transferred money from my um, mortgage, or my, um, um, what do you call it? My uh, Fidelity account, my uh, margin account, into another credit card that I had so that I had money for parking and for food. Well, when I got to Austin, I realized the fact that I didn't have enough money to extend it to a full package, to the full conference package, which is what I should have bought in the first place to go to all the conference events. So I had a choice. Do I want to actually pay for food and parking for, you know, the week I was there? Or do I want to... Um, pay for the full conference. I opted because of the two days I didn't want to transfer more money because it takes a couple of days to get the money in the first place. I went for the food and the, um, the money. Best thing I ever could have done because what happened was um, I went up the very first panel event that I wanted to go to and I couldn't uh, get in so I so told the people hey guys when you go here just write down your biggest takeaway and while you're doing that I'll meet you at a party later and you can tell me what your biggest takeaway was that way I could get four or five different opinions of what their biggest takeaway was and not actually be at the panel <laughs> kind of you know okay here's something I learned a long time ago to get into the entertainment business, you don't actually get in, you break into the entertainment business. And I don't know if you've ever had to break into your car or break into your house, but it's not through usually the front door. So I figured, well, I'm just going to break into this conference. And when I was there, a guy came up and he's like, man, I'm so sorry I'm late. They're running short on volunteers. What? They're running short on volunteers? Light bulbs are going off right now. And I'm like, huh, I'm from Tennessee. Um, I live in Tennessee, I work in Los Angeles, but in Tennessee, we're known as the volunteer state. Um, there's guys like, oh, Sam Davis and Sam Houston, and Davy Crockett, who went to Texas a long time ago and basically helped them join America, not Mexico. So, you know, bottom line is, um, yeah, vol people from Tennessee have been volunteering in Texas for a couple hundred years. So we went to, so I found out who the guy was, and I said, hey, do you need volunteers? Well, the first thing he had me do was, um, was take alcohol to all the parties. So I got to check that box off, you know, and now I could get to all the parties because I had taken them all the alcohol, which was, you know, kind of good. And I'm a writer, so I, I tend to drink a lot. I'm not an alcoholic because alcoholics go to meetings and I actually, as you, I said earlier, went to parties. So I go to a lot of parties. Um, needless to say, check that check mark off. So um, I got that taken care of. Then I, after taking all the alcohol, they're like, hey, would you mind going and helping out registration and <laughs> helping sign in all the panelists and all the people going, you know, make sure everybody is, you know, done correctly. So I helped everybody in registration the best I could. Uh, you might have seen me reg in the registration for the first day. Um, 
needless to say, the next day, uh, they're like, hey, what panels do you want to go to? And we'll just have you check people into the panels and make sure the doors are work fine. And then afterwards, you can take the panel meetings. When Mike, so I'm going to all the panels that I wanted to go to and basically working them? Huh, okay, uh, can I do this like next year and next year and next year too? And they're like, oh yeah, you do it three years in a row and you get like this uh, free panel, you get a free conference badge. And I'm like, does anybody know this? It was nowhere in the instructions. So I probably shouldn't be giving this out. I hope I'm not in a lot of trouble by doing that. But so yeah, you'll see me volunteering um, from now on. So Saturday and Sunday, though, I was a member there. I did pay for the weekend pass. I did see the panels that I wanted to. It's great. And so here's my basic. I've, I've kind of gone on. I'm heading six minutes right now. But here are my three. Here's my biggest. Well, I'll get to my takeaway in a second. But I noticed that there's three different types of panels, three different conferences that you're going to go to or basically uh, tracks you can be on. And the first track is listening to stories that people who broke into the industry and how they did it, what they've done, and the stories behind their projects, which is great information. I would t highly recommend that to anybody. Just listen to stories. We're all storytellers, guys. I was asked by a um, uh, manager recently, well, what are you? Are you an actor? Are you a songwriter? Are you a... I said, look, I'm a storyteller. You know, I tell stories. You know, well, are you comedy? Are you drama? I, you know, myself, I tell stories. I tell stories that people want to listen to and see over and over and over again, you know? Um, so that's just me. But there are people there that are going to be telling stories because they're storytellers. So if you want to see that, that's a great track. The second track, and I highly recommend this, is how to do it their way, how to tell a story that they want to that they want to tell, that they want to sell. Um, and it's basically how to be a better writer. If you're going to tell stories in Hollywood, you better learn how to tell stories their way. How do you, how do you format um, a screenplay? How do you have a first act and a second act and a third act? What's the second act breakdown? Do you a 2A and a 2B? You know, when I first started, I took a class at UCLA. Um, then I took a class through Pilar Alexandra. Um, and I took a screenwriting a feature class, I took a, a rewrite class, I took a TV class. I learned about the industry. Now I haven't broken in yet. I'm still trying to break in right now. Um, but that's why I went to Austin. But being there, it was fantastic. And the most biggest takeaway was the third track that I can talk about. Um, and that was representation, you know, managers, uh, how to get on, and uh, they had a thing with uh, CBS and Viacom, they had people from, you know, what they're looking for, how, what they're trying to put together. And my biggest takeaway that I got was that this industry is about referrals. You're not going to find, in most circumstances, there's always an exception to the rule, you're not going to find a manager who wants to manage you. You're not going to find an agent who wants to be your agent. You're not going to break in that way. But through contests, through being out here, through people you meet at film festivals, through production, through other film festivals all across the United States, you're going to meet somebody, a producer, who's looking for what you have. Um, and you're going to be referred by somebody who knows what you're doing. So if you're going to write a story and just keep it to yourself because you don't want anybody to steal it, I hear that a lot in the songwriting community, okay, well, keep it to yourself, but nobody's going to make it. Because, you know, for one thing, if, if you did write a screenplay and somebody stole it, that I've told this for songwriters for years, if somebody steals your song, you get branded as a person who wrote something so good somebody stole it, and they get branded a thief. So they sold one song, but you'll write more and more songs. Well, if you're a storyteller, if you're writing a screenplay and somebody steals your baby, they'll get branded a thief and you get branded somebody who wrote something good enough to be stolen from. And that's why you copyright it. That's why you register with the WGA. We have safeguards about that. So use the safeguards. Anyway, 
you will see me next year at the Austin Film Festival. I will be there again next year. I will be there um, year after year after year, hopefully someday as one of the panel speakers. Uh, but until then, my recommendation is definitely, it was